Hi, I'm Cole Schaefer, professional painter, and welcome to Dun Edwards Paints How to Paint video series. You know, over time, paint endures a lot of wear and tear. So from time to time, you'll need to clean and touch up your walls to keep them looking great for years to come. In this video, I'll show you tips for maintaining and protecting your walls. When painting a space, it's not only important that it looks great when you're done, but that it looks great years later too. Using higher quality Dun Edwards paints will make the walls easier to clean and allow the finish to last much longer. The type of finish you use is also a factor. Gloss and semi-gloss paints hold up better to cleaning than flat paints because of their smoother, more durable surface. You know, think of gloss paint as a slab of granite and flat paint as a slab of sandstone. Because sandstone is more porous than granite, it will stain easier. So if your walls are getting a few marks or stains, your best course of action is to clean them as soon as possible in order to keep them from staining. Now be sure to take it easy using light pressure, avoid scrubbing, and use the least aggressive cleaner so you don't damage, erode, or burnish the paint, which can alter the color or leave a shiny spot. Now use a damp sponge with some mild liquid soap when attempting to clean a wall to prevent surface damage. Now for more severe dirt or marks, use the same technique of the least amount of pressure and avoid scrubbing. The difference is you may need to use a more aggressive cleaner such as Crud Cutter, a high strength multi-purpose stain remover that you can find at your neighborhood Dun Edwards paint store. For additional suggestions on how to remove difficult stains, refer to our How to Care for Newly Painted Walls brochure on DunEdwards.com. Now when cleaning your walls doesn't provide the results you expect, Touching up the walls may be the next course of action, but please keep in mind paint touch-ups are a bigger task and the results may vary. Why? Well, there are so many variables that can affect a touch-up. For instance, there's the age of your painted walls, color, gloss, and surface texture. Each of these issues can make touch-ups extremely difficult. Now, although touch-ups can be challenging, there are some best practices to make the touch-up paint blend with the existing paint. Touch-up should be done to paint that is not older than one year and try to use the same batch of paint as the original if you have it. Now some of the items you'll need for touch-ups include a paint roller, a paint brush, a paint tray and liner, and paint from the original batch. Now make sure the surface is clean, dry, and free of any dirt or peeling paint. Now if given a choice between a brush and roller, always use a roller to perform the touch-up. The texture created by using a roller helps blend the touch-ups into the surface. If performing a touch-up on a smooth wall, a brush will work better. If you are using a brush, avoid feathering into originally painted areas, which could produce an outline around the touch-up area and it won't look blended. Now when loading either a roller or brush with paint, use the least amount of paint as necessary. And one last note, when touching up a large area or wall with a number of touch-ups, it's best to repaint the entire wall corner to corner so it all looks smooth and the color blends. Now for additional suggestions on touching up, refer to our How to Touch Up Painted Walls brochure on DunEdwards.com. With quality paint and a little care and a few touch-ups, your paint shop should look good for years and years. So for all of us here at Dun Edwards Paints, I'm Cole Schaefer. Thanks for watching and happy painting.